Attention please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles. G Patrol. Follow us. It's a big day out at the beach for an injured little blue penguin. Anwen has brought the bird here for a therapeutic swim. Oh, let's see you doing your swimming. Just checking out her swimming. We usually bring them down here so they get the full measure of the seawater. They drink the seawater, give them exercise. When they're like she is, we try to get them to do things that strengthen their bodies so that they are ready to go back to see when the time comes. And I'm really impressed with the difference even since Saturday. You can put some weight on there. Oh, are you kidding me? She's had no, not been able to put weight on the left leg. And she's actually getting there. I treated her Saturday. And the improvement just since then is quite noticeable. So she's actually doing well. Go on, go, she's climbing. Good girl. Put it back in the water for me. Put it back in the water. Look. Anwen is keen to see the penguin back with her colony in Waiheke, but it could take six months for a full recovery. The idea of all this is to get them back to where they should be, which is in the wild. The, the most thrilling thing is to release them and see them being what they're supposed to be. That's exciting. It's sad to see some of them go because they get, you get really attached to them. But the moment they're back in the wild, they're wild again. That's the way. Keep going. You're nearly over. When she goes back to the wild, she needs to be able to climb up cliffs like this and over rocks like that without any problem. And when they get that ready, they actually let you know when they're ready to go. But you, they have to be able to swim. But you can see why she can't be released like this. Mm. She just wouldn't survive, she'd be seagull fodder. When you get in the deeper pool, they dive in and they swim around and uh, do all the penguin stuff that they do and so you can see whether they're able to function out in the wild again. So that's what we do with them. Good girl. You look like you're sunbathing. Good girl. And a week ago she couldn't have turned herself over if she got on her back. So she's made a lot of progress. She's come a long way, actually. There'll be more therapy scheduled for the penguin over the next few weeks as her treatment continues. Let me go home. Good morning. Good morning. John has made a surprise discovery in the case of the electrical store Cat and Kittens. Mrs Bellamy, who cares for a cat colony where the cats were found, has reported her oldest and dearest cat has gone missing. John thinks the cat now being cared for by Yvonne may be her cat. Well, I hope this is your cat. I hope it is too. <laughs> She's doing very well. Yes, that's mother. Oh, well. Hello, Mum. Hello, Mum. How old would she be, Mrs Bellamy? Five, six years old. She's had about 30, 30 animals since she's been with me. Lord help us. And of course, uh, some some went and some had to be taken away because of the six or something that she they put she put them in in the shed. Mm. Where uh, got in their eyes. Oh, you're a lovely mummy. Where you been to? Hey, you silly old lady. There, I've been thinking of you and I've lost you. I miss you. Miss you very much. So that's her bubbers. That's her baby. She has four this time. Yep, she had four. John believes this cat has been responsible for mothering numerous unwanted kittens in a colony that has become a huge problem in the area. Mrs. Bellamy has agreed to leave the mother cat here, which is a plus. We'll try and rehome the kittens, and um, Yvonne will keep um, the mother cat here and 
tame it down and then once she's um, rehomeable, she, she will rehome it. But if she's a bit frozen, we'll, we'll, we'll have her back. I'm not going to home her straight away. I'll settle her down, yes. give her love and cuddles yes. and that, and one on one. And we normally really do have a 90% hit rate oh, yeah. with homes, yeah. you know, and match them up. Oh, that'd be good. If she, if she, I'd, I'd love her to have a home. I'd love them all to have a home, actually. But, uh... It's an emotional farewell for Mrs. Bellamy. It's nice to know she is being looked after. And I promise you she is. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I know, and it's hard for you to let her go, too. It is hard. But I know. I know. As but long you as take I can see her, as long as they can come and see her. And bring your grandchildren. <laughs> Back at the SPCA, Spot the Dog has a new owner. Thank you. OK, thanks for that. Unwanted, Spot was last week surrendered to the SPCA, but today he's caught the eye of Ron and Mary. Good gift. Well, I just put my old dog down two weeks ago, and I came down here on Tuesday, spotted her in the kennel, and loved, loved her from first sight. Good nature. She'll have to run the house. She'll be the, she'll be the boss. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Spot's become a favourite of one of the volunteer workers at the SPCA, who's been responsible for exercising the dog. I usually, at one o'clock, after my break, I take the big dogs for a walk. So I, she's one of my dogs that I take along and she loves it. She goes out and jumps up and down and just, just absolutely loves a walk. She just thinks it's great and, she, and so affectionate and so loving. In fact, Spot's been popular with many of the staff. Ron's owned many wonderful dogs in the past. It looks like he's made another good choice. Today, Karen's taking a little kitten to see John, an elderly man Karen regularly visited before he went to live in a rest home. This is the only kitten that I found at John's place. And um, I got her yesterday. She was, her eyes were all, com she was completely gummed up. Her eyes were closed. I think that's why she wandered out of the bush, not knowing where she was. So I thought, oh well. I grabbed her, I couldn't believe it. I took her home, we cleaned her up, and she's had some medication. And she's, yeah, bright as a button now. Yeah, I've come to see, um, visit John at his rest home, so I thought this would be really cute to take a little kitten for him to have a little play with and a little cuddle, since he's probably missing all his cats. Come on. The SPCA runs an outreach pet therapy program at rest homes in association with St John. This initiative promotes the therapeutic benefits animal contact can bring to the elderly. Here comes the kitten. Here comes the kitten. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. Well, you right there, huh? Yeah, I'm fine, honey. Now she's gonna, she's gonna go frolicking though. She wants to go on that grass. Hello, Lily. Little... What do you reckon? Yeah, nice little pussy, eh? Little girl called Josie. Oh, Josie. Josie. Look at her going meow. I know. <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> She's just going to go off though. Hello, she? little one. <laughs> She's only just started to eat, John. Oh? She's only just started to eat. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you fall down there, love. I think she might be from that grey and white one. Oh, it could be too. You know that grey and white, you know that one? Yeah. Down by yeah, house? Yeah. What do you think of Mr. Black next door? Yeah, he's a neat cat, isn't he? Yeah, he's, not, he, he's been operated on. He's only got one eye. No, I don't look at fool, yeah. <laughs> I want to see you. Stop, stop them taking the photograph from me, see? <laughs> <laughs> little beauty, eh? She's a little beauty. All pussies are nice. Yeah. All colours, nationalities. Nationalities? It's like the Siamese and stuff, I mean. It's like the ones you had at home on the, in the hallway, isn't it? Oops! Yeah. Look, oh, cats like me. She loves you. Yeah. Oh, look. Little Josie. Next week on Animal House, the skinny horses are given a veterinary inspection, a dog hit by a car is rescued by the SPCA, and a poo kicker is found injured at Auckland Hospital.